Okay. This is a brother, brother Linux, right? Yes, my name is. He's come, come from America. Yes. He's in France right now. He's in France with me in the church. I came here for a crusade and God did something wonderful. He got baptized today because yesterday when God he, he, he did his testimony, he said, I want to get baptized. Uh, this man's story is a big story because it's, he, he, he was a bad man. Yes. He was a bad man from ghetto yes. and today he just get baptized. So brother, I want to hear your story. Yes. Go ahead, friend. My name is Lennox. Okay. I'm, I'm from America, but I live in Georgetown, Guyana with my son. And my son got sick on the 4th of August. That's on my 4th birthday. 4th August? 4th Last August. year? Yes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. August is mm -hmm. my birthday. And I was having fun. Yes. And it was a party. It was a party. Yes. People having fun going on and drinking and dancing and stuff. So my son was dressed mm -hmm. and he was sitting and stooping watching me. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, what happened? He said, Daddy, I'm not mm -hmm. feeling too good. Yes. I said, well, no, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He, he got some. He, I got some tablets for him. Okay. And he, oh, like he was, the pain was so much for him, mm -hmm. and he over drink, He drank two of the tablets, which he wasn't supposed to drink at the same time. So, okay. So during the he was feeling pain. He figured that he should drink it. You know. So he drank it. So I asked him. You, you think that is why that you don't? He said, no, that yeah, you're supposed to be mad, I drink it. Anyhow, he was vomiting. The mm -hmm. night I closed off the party because I don't want no more party anymore. Mm -hmm. He's not feeling good. So I took him upstairs and in the middle of the night, like from three o'clock, he was vomiting and vomiting and going on. So I, I told him, I'm going to take you to the hospital. He'd be like, no, he said, Daddy, I want to go to the hospital. He said that to you. He wanted to go to the hospital. Okay. I said, don't let me take you to the hospital. I mean, nothing happened with because you. Because we don't have money. We don't have no money okay. to catch taxi and you mm. know what's going on. Mm -hmm. He said, no, Daddy, I can do that to you because I know what happened and I'm not feeling good. I just need to go to the hospital. Mm. So I'd be like... I'd be like trying to decide if he's, you know, because sometimes he'd be mm -hmm, like that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I decided to call the taxi, mm -hmm, and the mm -hmm, taxi came. Mm -hmm. And when the taxi came and stuff like that, I the taxi was blowing out the pom 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 all the time, and he was right, like going through his pain. And it stuff. was, it, it was dying. Yes, of course. He it was, was just yes, dying. Yeah, exactly. He okay. was, you know. And I call him. I call it. I said, I, I I'm gonna go with the taxi with you. He said, okay. We went to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Why is we worried at the hospital and stuff like that? The doctors then. With all some old people. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, okay. Well, then we some was disease. around. Let me. Some explain. disease. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get to that really, you know. So he was um he was in the hospital and they started to like check on him and stuff like that. Ultrasound you know? and, and stuff like that. And stuff, but they didn't tell me what's going on, mm -hmm. right? So after that happened. They, they had him there giving him medication all the time, but he's still there sick. Mm. And three kids died right there. Yeah, he said that to me. Uh, yeah. He said that three kids yeah. died in, right the near, way, yeah, near right him. There, near him. And wow. he said, Daddy, I want to come out of here. Mm -hmm. I don't want to stay in this hospital okay. anymore. So I turned and said, Himself. Yeah, he said, said I want to go. I want to go. I need to come out of this hospital. Mm. So I said, all right, if you want to come out of the hospital, I'm going to take you because I ain't doing nothing for you. Mm. And you only line up there all the time sure. and stuff like that. So I went to the, the door system and I told them mm -hmm. I need my son to discharge. They mm -hmm. was telling me, no, let him alone. I must wait until the end of the month. Some other doctor gonna come from somewhere and look out. I say, in the meantime, my son gonna die waiting for that doctor. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna discharge him myself. No, you can't do that. I said, well, God tell me to do that. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring this mm -hmm. child out with mm -hmm. me. So I pick up my son mm -hmm. and we went out to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I took him home. When I took him home, he was still feeling, you know, bad. so I still feeling bad, and I was like thinking, what am I gonna do? You know, I need to take this guy. But to you told me you record the the um you recorded the, the yeah, but I'm getting the, to that. The, yeah, the, the yeah. nurse. Yeah, the doctor. Because you don't want any the doctor. Yes. You don't want anybody to say that I, I'm lying. You are lying. Yes. 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 So okay, go ahead. I called my friend in America, my girlfriend, and mm -hmm. she sent. $50. Just $50. Yeah, just 50 US got that, that is what I need. So I took the money and I went to a private doctor. When I went to the private doctor, the doctor them told me they checked Alkerson and they said I was recording it right now. And the doctor turned and he said, um, your son, his kidneys is not good. None of the two of them are not good. None of them. And I was taping it. I said, so what happened? How are we living? She said, he said, by the grace of God, he's living, but you need to get your child out of this country right now. 
out of America. Yeah, out of there. And I was pressing my button like this and listening mm -hmm. in Guyana. So I was in, I pressing and I tape it. So I want my family in America to know what's going on with yes. my son so they could send some money to help sure. me to get to mm -hmm. out of the country. Mm -hmm. Then we were in Guyana. I'm, I'm from there and I went to Guyana with him. Okay. And we were in Guyana. So God. I want to come from Guyana to somewhere we could help him, but they don't have no money to do that. So I ask God, I keep praying, asking him to help me, show me the way how to get to this other country where I can help out my son, mm. you know? And then the Lord tell me, take him to French Guyana. Mm. So I jump on the boat, because it's boat. In the boat? Yes, I brought him to the boat. I brought him to from Guyana to Springlands. That's a part of Guyana. And then from there to Suriname. Then from I went to Suriname, I tried to get with him. with him. Sick, sick all the time. We are traveling right through his vomiting. Yeah, you know, nothing. You know, tell me he to the so tell me he to the um Suriname. I didn't yeah. eat nothing. No, he don't eat nothing because he remember he can't eat nothing because he vomiting everything that he eats. He pork. <laughs> So he cannot eat. So he's coming with me by the grace of God and keep praying, 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 praying. So we're reaching Suriname. We're reaching Suriname. I got some family over there and they told me, well, they're going to help me out to get to St. Laurent. That's a part of French Guyana. So I went to St. Laurent and when I got to St. Laurent, the doctors them collect him right there because I left him and they took him in and they start operating on him. Helicopter. Yeah, well, we can get to that. Helicopter? So, yeah, well, we can get to that. Yeah, so they start operating on him, and they told me that this guy is really got to go to French Guyana because we are in St. Laurent, that's a part of um, French Guyana. So they had to call the helicopter. So they put my son in the helicopter, and they send him straight to French Guyana. So they already helped me out. They put me in a bus and sent me there because the helicopter couldn't take all yeah, of us. Sure. So I prefer him go first. So when I got there, the doctors them hook him up with the dialysis, mm -hmm. tubes and all kind of stuff on him. I got there. I pray that God help him. And we were there all the time. Then the doctors, yes. Look, you see? This is, look, this is the dialysis. Pull it out here. Let him see. This. This is how we live in right now. Okay. Yeah, so the dialysis, the... Um, the yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they had to hook him up in French Guyana. So we, I'm there with him in French Guyana. So they came to me and they told me that um, this guy have to go to Paris. Paris. I never went here. This is my first time in my life okay. I ever here. So I asked them, how, how am I going to, I can't just send my son. I have to be there with him, you know. Mm -hmm. So the good Lord tell me, don't worry, let him go. So I call on God and say, Father God, what do you think I must do? Let this child go. Just let him go. Well, I send him in your name. I Amen. lose him in your name. Amen. And I know you is going to do the Amen. right thing for me, right? And I ask God, please, you take care of my son. You know, just take him because I can't come on the plane. I don't have a visa. I don't have money. I don't have nothing, you know. But just take him, you know. And I give him to God. I didn't give him to the people. I give him to God. And God sent him on that plane and reached to Paris. And they give me a paper to go to the embassy to get me a visa. I got that visa. And I ask, I don't know how we got the money, but my family them pray and ask people to help them out and I get a passage and I come to Paris. And I, yeah, I sell out all my clothes, all oh my, my house, God. everything that I have. You I, sell everything. I get everything that I have. Even when I was coming here, the overweight was so much. I had not overweight, the duty, I had to pay, I had to sell my clothes. My sister sent from America for me because I just want to get here, mm. you know. So I got here when I got to Paris at Roberto Hospital. I saw my son and I said, thank you, God. Thank you so much. I see my son. Mm. I told him I can always be with you, mm. you know. Then he came here and then he was wise in the hospital in Guyana. They, he picked up a, a sick from there, tuberculosis, another sick. So they had to now treat him now for that now. So the other day when you pray for him, we was going to Paris because it's in Paris we was at and we asked our transfer due to my friend. When you pray for me, no pain, nothing. No after. more up to now, nothing. After no. the prayer. Yeah, after the prayer, you don't feel no pain. No nothing more pain. You, nothing at all. Nothing at all. He just eating and he's eating there. And he's going on, you know what I'm saying? So we came from Paris and 
they know they, they I keep praying and stuff because they, you know, when, when they did another operation in Paris to him. This is another operation they did because they're gonna one, two, one they, vein, they take one two. they take one they take two vein and make it into one. Oh, be, be, be together. Right, Tapari, that's why you okay. pray for him. Okay. And he went and he did that surgery, and it, he came out excellent because since he come out from the surgery, he was scooting oh my on God. a bike one in, with one wow. hand. So I know that the praise is so powerful that my son Amen. was just, I'd be like, man, you just come out, out of surgery. Yo, what's up with you? Oh my He'd God. be like scooting um, in the hospital, <laughs> and I'd be like, wow. You know, so they send us back to, they send us back to ramps, you know, so mm. he, they're going to take this out from here. Okay. And they're going to hook it up in his hands. Okay. Where he could go to school. Okay. And stuff like that, but we don't have no places to don't stay. Don't worry, stuff like don't that. worry. But his mother is on her way. Mm -hmm. She's going to be traveling tomorrow Amen. to be rich in, in France and Chile, okay. in, in Holland and Chile. And okay. then I have to find <laughs> to pay for her. Sure. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to make it to Paris to bring her back mm -hmm. here because it is not like that because the government over here are sure. trying to help me out and they I'm living at the hospital. I live at the After hospital. After here is home in hospital. Yeah. We, After here, we go back to the hospital. The hospital. Yeah, so we, the hospital become your, your, my your, home. your home. Yes, that's where I live all the time because every but night. But what does said now about the kidneys? Okay, the kidneys now. One is functioning. One is, yes. Okay, after the prayer, right yeah, one, now, is, one fun is functioning. Functioning now, yes. Okay. Yes, one is functioning. I'm going to pray again today because yesterday you amazed me. You said, God did something great. I yes, want to get exactly. baptized. Yes, I know. And we did, we just yes, did. Oh my baptism. God, I'm so awesome. I, I, I want to pray. Thank I want to pray. And you're going to go back to the hospital. Yes. And uh, God will do what he started to do. Yes, Amen. Amen. I just want to pray, God, now. Yes. I am calling new kidney in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I pray now for healing. I speak life. I speak healing. I speak grace. I speak life in his organ, in the name of Jesus. I call the grace of healing and miracle. Get it in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hey, Marco Rosado Mohondo. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive healing now, 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 now in Jesus' mighty name. Receive it. Receive it. And may the miracle of God now, now be your portion in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name, amen for the testimony. Yes. Thank you. May God bless you, brother. God bless, God bless you. So much. God bless you. You're not going to be a ghetto anymore. God is about to do something new. And you are about to testify. And you are about to tell people how God is alive. And God will show his power to you. I just want to pray for you now to call the grace of God and the anointing of God in your body. For God to transform your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in Jesus' name. May God bless you and open doors. May God bless you and open doors. May God anoint you in Jesus' mighty name. Receive the anointing of God. Receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And may God give you the heart of peace. The grace of the power of God. May the anointing of God be your portion. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. It's going to be under anointing of God. Que Dieu vous bénisse. La grâce de Dieu est encore possible. Son enfant n'avait pas de rien. Dieu est en train de faire un truc merveilleux. Les gens sont allés à l'hôpital, ils disent, l'enfant, ils ont retrouvé ses rêves. C'est une grâce. Et son père, qui était un homme brigand, un bandit de ghetto, Dieu vient de le transformer, il a donné sa vie au Seigneur, il dit, va se faire baptiser. Nous l'avons baptisé, et nous avons prié pour que la, la grâce et l'onction de Dieu soient son partage. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Que Dieu vous bénisse, et que sa grâce soit votre partage. Le Dieu qui transforme est encore là, il est encore capable de faire des miracles. Shalom, shalom, shalom.